Hi everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services back with another tutorial video. This one actually came by request through our Facebook page at facebook.com slash NYC Music Services and it has to do with exporting MIDI from Logic. So how do you do this? Well, um, I'll show you. First of all, I've got a little uh, excerpt of a Mozart string quartet that I just played into here in, uh, in Logic and let me just play a slight bit of it for you so you can hear a little bit. Okay, well, that tambourine you heard at the end, highly likely that Mozart didn't actually write that, but um, I put it in there to illustrate uh, a point that I want to make a little bit later. Okay, so um, sorry for that. Okay, so a few things. First of all, all these um, 16th pickups here, they're not really supposed to be there. It's just how I played them in because uh, I'm a human being and that is, uh, you know, it's imperfect. Uh, same thing here, these 16th notes. These are actually supposed to be real 16th notes, not triplets. And, well, I might as well just show you the score, actually, and you can actually see those are there they are those are supposed to be sixteenths and that faster section is supposed to be all dotted halves so not perfect but you know that's how you might play it in it may not be perfect so if you want to just take this and export it just as is you can do it um, we would go to select all edit uh, select all shortcut command a and then we want to go to file export selection is MIDI file Go ahead and uh, export to your desktop, for instance. And now you can you know, take that and open it in Sibelius or Finale. And I'm just going to leave these settings unchanged. These are more or less the, de the default Sibelius settings. You can play with these some, but the goal here is really to get the music looking better in Logic first. So with that in mind, let's just keep things by default in Sibelius for the time being. Okay, uh, let me un uh, unhide those empty staves just to uh, show you a little bit more what's going on. We've got some problems here. First of all, we've got, I don't know, 13 or so tracks when there only should be five, including that tambourine part. We've got some tracks that are um, named unknown. We've got four cello tracks. That's no good. There's only one cello as far as I know. And, uh, you know, those triplets in the uh, violin two part, no good. All those 16th pickups in the faster section are there. That's no good. And also, oh, look at this. Violin, this is actually the violin two part. Notice how this is an octave up from where it should be. Remember the, remember the Mozart? Um, here's the Mozart score. It's supposed to be in unison with the violin one. And in fact, even in Logic, it's in unison with the violin one. So why did it export a, an octave up? Well, what ended up happening is I actually played it in an octave up by mistake and then I changed it in the parameters you see here transposition minus 12 so that it would actually play back correctly and it plays back and displays correctly in logic but uh, not when you export so that's another problem we have to deal with let's just uh, let's just see what finale does with it if it does a little bit of a better job and I think it will with the defaults uh, finale uh, tends to uh, do a little bit better quantizing and taking care of some other things but we still have 12 or 13 tracks no good. All those multiple cello tracks, unknowns are still there. Those 16th note anticipations, which shouldn't be there in the faster section. Um, oh, another thing, that tambourine part, remember how it went for eight bars? We only see it for two bars, and why is that happening? So we've got some work to do in our logic file. Let's go back to the logic file. And the first thing we want to do is quantize everything. And uh, we do that by um, selecting the regions we want to quantize. We can just rubber band them like that. Go to the quantize. And in this case, we'll say 16th notes. And if you notice, those triplets are gone in the second violin part. Now, we don't want to quantize by 16th in the fast section because that wouldn't help us. It would still leave those 16th notes there. So we're going to quantize. We can quantize probably to the eighth note or even to be safe, the quarter note would be fine because these are just dotted half notes. Whoops, I chose a different selection. There it is, quarter note. And we've got nice, beautiful dotted halves. So 
that's good, but what we want to do is actually freeze those things because these are actually non-destructive, and meaning that I could unquantize it and it would get right back to the way it was originally played. So um, we want to actually freeze those um, in preparation for exporting the uh, MIDI file. So the first thing we want to do is select everything and we're going to go to our contextual menu by right clicking or control clicking MIDI we're going to say apply quantization destructively and what that does is essentially destroys your original uh, input the way you originally played it and converts it to the way logic is displaying it now so that quantization is now going to take effect and be fixed that's good Second order of business, let's apply the norm, let's normalize, uh, normalize the parameters. And what that's going to do in that second violin part in particular is fix those transpositions to the correct octave so that they export correctly. So same menu, MIDI, and uh, Control N is the shortcut. Great. So now what we want to do, remember that, um, that loop that I have here? Right now that tambourine part, the reason it only shows for two bars in Logic and also in the MIDI file is that it's actually a loop and logic is just referencing that one um, that one two bar section so but there's a way to convert those to real um, to real MIDI notes and the way to do that again right click or control click we want to go to convert convert loops to real copies and now we've got four copies of that loop uh, each independent of the of the next and they show up correctly all right, so the next order of business here is to, again, let's select all by Apple A. And see how we have separate regions. In fact, the reason for this is because I played, um, for instance, the cello part. I stopped and started a number of times uh, to play it back correctly. See here, three, actually four cello regions. That's why in the MIDI file, if you recall, here, let me show you one more time, there were four cello uh, tracks and that's not good no good we only have one uh, cello track so let's just uh, show you that real quickly those four cello tracks refer to each of the regions in logic so what I want to do is actually merge them all together so um, I've selected all now let's again right click or control click and we're going to say bounce and merge and we're going to merge per track and look at this we've got one beautiful region per track and uh, that's going to help us a lot now the final thing we should do I see this unknown here and the reason for this is because uh, I didn't name the regions properly at first so we want to go to the text text tool and you can access this menu by hitting escape and let's just name this violin 2 and viola Okay, now um, I think we're going to come up with a MIDI export that is much better than the first one. So we're going to Apple A, let's export, selection is MIDI file, we'll call this MIDI export 3, and let's bring this one into Sibelius. Hmm, a lot better. Uh, first of all, let's just go ahead and uh, get the correct clefs on here. Alto clef for the viola, bass clef for the cello, and this is looking much more like a string quartet. If you notice, first of all, we've got no unknowns. We've got one track per instrument. Uh, we've got um, uh, the violin two in the correct octave because we normalized our region parameters. A few things need to be cleaned up here, but this is not so bad. Those uh, 16th note triplets are gone. We've got real 16th notes here. The tambourine part shows up in all the correct measures. We've got beautiful dotted halves here. Again, a couple of weird things here, but much more usable in general. And let's just take a look at the finale results. Again, much more usable. Five tracks as opposed to 13 or so. Um, things are looking real nice with those 16th notes. Uh, the tambourine part is showing up correctly. Uh, again, dotted halves. Uh, so um, that's a little bit about how to export MIDI from Logic. You can uh, play with it more on your own, but this should give you at least a good starting point.
Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you again soon.